welcome back guys so today we are going to discuss how you can give out roles to your discord server members and this is the part two of the video if you haven't watched the part one on how to create a discord server you can go ahead and watch it from the link in the description and since many of you requested part two so here it is basically you can give out roles to your server members by two ways first one is assigning the roles manually or the other method is using a bot to make the process automated so let's see how you can do it manually first and then we'll go on to the next step of using bots. First of all, open up Discord. And right now you can see nobody has a role, just online and offline you can see. So what you need to do is just go to your server, click on the server drop down and click server settings. In here you will see roles and you can see there there are basically no roles and these roles are created by the bots themselves because as you can see here is yak pdb and me6 these two bots have created their own roles now it's time to create some roles ourselves so just create role and let's name it tier one and give it a yellow color after that, uh, you can just scroll down a bit and you will see display role members separately from online members. So what this will do is people with this role will appear separately on right hand side of the server window. If you do not understand what it means, I will show you in a moment. But let me first create some roles and you can obviously give them permissions. You can customize them later on as well just save changes and here you can see nobody has a role right now as you can see and let me just give my friend a role by right clicking and going to roles and i can decide tier one since he's offline nothing much is appearing let's give it to the bot like tier one so you can see tier one is the heading and this bot got the yellow color and let me give myself a tier five and you can see it, it's not appearing separately saying tier 5 like in tier 1 why because we haven't checked on this setting right as I told you uh, here display role members separately if you do not check this this is how it's gonna appear you can see the color is different if you click on the name you can see they have the role but they do not appear separately so just go ahead and if you want you can just check this box similar with the tier 10 okay you know what i'll get myself a tier 10 <laughs> tier 10 but you can see i have a tier 10 and tier 10 is supposed to be higher one okay let's just basically give him the tier 5 now i am tier 10 but still you can see if i remove my tier 5 role then only i get this tier 10 and tier 10 is at the bottom although it should be at the top if you want the role to appear on the top, you have to drag it and get it to the top in the role options like this. And now you can see tier 10 is at the top, tier 5 is at the second position and tier 1 is at the bottom most. So this is how you give out roles and obviously the color of the higher role will be used like uh, I have a tier 5 role as well. but the color will be red because tier 10 is higher just like me 6 if we give it a tier 5 role it appears green but if we remove the role it's yellow in tier 1 so that's how you give out the roles manually but it's kind of hectic if you have too many members so let's move on to the automated method using bots and let me remind you it's not reaction roles it's auto roles reaction roles are the one when you react to a message and you get a role by reacting with an emoji or something like I have a message here and there's a reaction and if I react to this one I will get a role so those are reaction roles if you want me to make a video on reaction roles you can tell me in the comments but for now let's stick to auto roles so uh, open up your web browser and you can go to yakpdb.com and log in with your discord account uh, you can use any other bot but for this video we are going to use yakpdb so once you're logged in into yak pdb link will be in the description to yak pdb so you can go from there or just go ahead and type yak 
pdb and you will get it so once you log in this is the screen you will see and here select the server and i have selected the test server so in the tools and utilities section you can see auto roll so click on auto roll and so you can see automatically assign members to this role so whenever someone joins your server this is the role that they will get by default so let's give them a tier one role and obviously uh, since yak pdb is giving out the roles it is important that yak pdb is above the roles it is giving like five and ten yak pdb is you can see yak pdb is tier five so it cannot give tier five or tier ten roles it can only give tier one roles so let's just move yak pdb up a bit so it, it can give other roles and let's create an invisible role uh, that is just name it role giver it doesn't make sense but yeah just give it a role and let's move it up to okay yeah and yeah we can just give yak pdb another role that is not visible like role giver so it is not visible but yak pdb has this role now just go to the web browser and refresh this page and now you can see it can give out any possible role but since the member will be new who is going to join the server let's give them tier one minutes of membership now nah, just the moment they join they get the role requires one of these roles to be in the server mm -hmm. we don't need any of these you can just go ahead and save and let's go to May 6 this time my servers and let's choose this one the test server oh once you're in me 6 you can just uh, go to welcome and goodbye here you can obviously set up welcome cards and stuff and you will see here give a new role to new users so just enable it scroll down a bit and you can choose which role to give obviously we want it tier 1 so select tier 1 and ok so whenever someone joins your discord server they are gonna get a tier 1 role so you can either do it using me6 or yak pdb but don't do both so i'm just gonna cancel this me6 one because i already have yak pdb doing that work for me <clears throat> so whenever someone joins you will see here in the welcome screen that this person has joined the server and they will get this tier 1 role so tell me in the comment section if you want me to make a video on level up roles or reaction roles but for now this is it thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video hey!